River State Governor Yesomezo Wiki has declared that the major challenges that characterize the 2019 general elections will have been averted if President Muhammadu Buhari had accented to the Amendment Electoral Act. Speaking during a course of visit by the political team from the British High Commission at the Government House Patakot on Tuesday, Governor Wiki said that the Amended Electoral Act will legitimize the card reader and strengthen the process of result collation. If the president of the Federal Republic of Ghana assented to the electoral uh, bill, we wouldn't have had the kind of problems we had. That means that there must be a card reader, we had a card reader that cannot be in election. In that case, it makes it difficult for security agencies who want to manipulate the election. The governor said that with the court reader giving legal teeth, it will play a key role in the results that will emerge and discourage violence. To do that. Because with card reader, if you are bringing results that is not valid with the card reader, the results will not be acceptable. But where you have refused to use the card reader, and it's not provided in the law, then it becomes very easy for people to manipulate the system. And that was what happened where some security agencies wanted to use that loophole to force in people to sign results sheets for them. Remember that the River State, when the army took over the headquarters of INEC, the whole essence of that was to see that the electoral, the returning officers who are coming to submit their results were being hijacked or arrested and then giving them the results that they will submit. But if the candidate was allowed to introduce in the electoral act, it would not have been possible because the only result that would be accepted, is, even if you bring a result, they look at the candidate, does it tally with it? If it doesn't tally with it, then you cannot accept it. So that was a very big gap. And I have always said to Mr. President, for the interest of this country, if we really want this country to move forward, let us do the right thing. Let us not be uh, politicized everything. Because we are not talking about ourselves. We are talking about the future of the country. While saying that the amended electoral act when signed into law will Deputy restore Deputy confidence Deputy in the electoral Deputy system, Deputy Governor Wiki called for the, the decentralization the of the Deputy nation's Deputy democracy. We should try to reduce the militarization during election period. I thought, and which I think is right, that it is the police that ordinarily should be in charge working with INEC, but not the, 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 the army. But it's unfortunate in our election, <laughs> instead of police, I army mean, takes uh, over. And then with flimsy excuses, oh, what happened in the first state is, a, is an eye-opener that for people to see that, look, bringing in the army every time is not the best. So the police should be allowed to do their work as people who will protect the INEC staff and officials. INEC too should be totally be independent. INEC should not play one role here and say one thing here and say the other and not to their side. No. If you apply the same rule to every, every person, should assert their independence. In the case of River State, we must commend them for being assertive. If you are not assertive, I don't know where we would have uh, been today. Governor Wiki urged the Independent National Electoral Commission to be truly independent, adding that the appointment of INEC leadership should not completely be in the hands of the federal government as suggested by the WIS report. Yeah, for INEC to be truly independent, if we go back to Justice WIS uh, recommendation, Appointment of INEC chairman shouldn't be by the government or should be done in a way that government does not have total control of them. In that case, you'll be having 
an independent and international data commission that we are, we are, they are human beings, they may not be totally 100%, but to some, to some extent, we can say, yes, I think we're getting it uh, uh, right. The governor said that the issues of security should not be politicized, as in the case. He noted that politicization of security has led to insecurity in all states of the Federation. One basic problem we have in this country is the politicization of security. When you politicize security, you are bound to suffer for it. But this was what I warned earlier, that let us not politicize this. Let us work that insecurity in one state will affect other states. He said that River State has suffered the politicization of security as the Nigerian army climbed down on the state neighborhood safety core agency at its training site at the NYC camp, even though the agency was modeled after that of Lagos State. He noted that the River State government will go ahead with the neighborhood safety core agency and urge the British government to provide technical support. We agree that we should look at what Lagos has done in terms of neighborhood watch. So we went and took the law of the Lagos State and made some amendment to improve on it. And we went as far as making an appointment of those who had this uh, neighborhood agency. And all of them are all retired security agencies. They're all retired. Assistant Commissioner of Police, the head of the Director of State Services, all of them. And we said none of them will be there except they are being vetted by the SSS and the police. We went ahead. And they went ahead to start recruiting people who would aid for information garden, intelligence garden. They don't have policemen everywhere. Communities and so they will be able to give out information. And they will be able to nip on the board if there's anything to that, 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 that criminals are planned. Then we said, look, the training right to the security agencies to come and train them. They wrote to the SSS, they wrote to the army, they wrote to the police. And it was agreed that they should use the NYC camp at NOAA, which is a government infrastructure, federal government infrastructure. You can't believe it that when they were in that camp, the army went there, stormed there, and chased them away that they are terrorists. And so, for us, we are still coming up with a neighborhood uh, uh, scheme. And we want you to help us with the technical areas, in terms of equipment and training, intelligence gathering. Intelligence gathering. Seven, the weekly stated that the state no, no, police Karen, is key to tackling insecurity across the country. Well, again, you can't talk about state police without reviewing the revenue for our sharing uh, formula. With the way the revenue formula is, it's impossible for anybody to have state uh, police. If we must have which I support, we should, but there must be a review of the revenue sharing uh, uh, formula. The federal government cannot continue to have that kind of land share. And then, even with what the states have, it's very difficult for them to pay salaries. And then you're adding more responsibilities. The federal government should seed certain percentage. The federal government should even take less, because they have less responsibilities. Why the state take more of the responsibilities? So the governor reiterated that oil bunkering is felt by the connivance and participation of security agencies. So many people are affected by involved in oil bunkers. I can tell you that. Security agencies are involved. That is why you see so many people are lobbying to come to Niger. Data. So oil bunkering is one problem that has led to the politicization of the uh, uh, security architecture in the country. And his remarks, the deputy head of political section, first secretary, British High Commission, Stout Gardner, congratulated Governor Wicke on his well-deserved victory, noting that the British government was interested 
in his views on the 2019 elections. So I think, I think first and foremost, uh, Your Excellency, uh, as the first visitors uh, from the British High Commission uh, since the elections, I should start by offering my wholesome congratulations on behalf of the High Commissioner uh, on your uh, election victory. Who regretted that the last elections were marked by violence and said that steps must be taken to stem the tide of violence during the 2023 elections. The second uh, area we would like to cover uh, was just a bit of reflection, to get your reflections on the elections themselves. They were difficult. Uh, very, very sadly, there was significant uh, loss of life and we were interested to hearing how, how you think lessons can be learned that can be taken forward to, 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 to prevent that next time. <music>